I'll be the main of it, like no king was before. I'm brushing up, I'm looking down, I'm working on my roar. <laughs> he was the singing voice behind the highest grossing animated film of all time, The Lion King, and went on to grace our television and big screens for years to come, from Smart Guy to Drumline and ATL. And now he is back in his hometown, starring in The Shy, and will be this year's Bud Billiken Parade Grand Marshal. Jason Weaver joins us now. Jason, so good to Yay! see you. Welcome Thank home. You. We're so happy to have you. We'll talk about Bud Billiken in a minute, yes. but I just want to ask you, many times a day do you say thank you to your mama for working out that deal <laughs> oh, with the Lion King? Oh, at least 10 times a day, I uh, thank yeah. my mother. So for everybody at home, instead of taking a flat fee mm -hmm. for singing this song, your mom worked out a deal where you get royalties. Yeah, she basically worked it out, um, you know, as we were negotiating the contract where I would re receive a residual income, like, you know, throughout the time that, uh, that the Lion King would continue to just become successful and thrive and flourish and yeah, it's just been a, a blessing and a gift that just keeps on giving. But, you know, my mother was very instrumental in that. And from the very beginning of me being in the in the industry, she taught me about the importance of just doing good business and understanding and knowing your worth. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, you were, were you 12 when uh, you were Yeah, I was 12 that? when I did it. So I really didn't have a concept then yeah. as, as it relates like, to business. Yeah, like, there's a big, giant, flat fee, and you're like, sure, I could yeah, take it, million, man. Yeah, it was $2 million, right? Yeah, yes. yeah. And you probably have made many times more than that since then. Yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been a blessing. <laughs> Okay. Well, just it's, leave it at that. Yeah, I don't want to get in your pocket yeah, or anything. It's definitely but... worked out in our favor. But no, I, I was very blessed to, to have that opportunity where my mother really sat me down and showed me um, at the same time that I was being creative and, and doing my thing in the studio. Yeah. Just, again, the importance of understanding the business that we're in and knowing your worth in it and negotiating based upon that. So, okay. yeah. How does it feel like so 30 years later? I mean, like we were talking, my seven-year-olds love this movie now. Mm -hmm. it's, it, it's It goes across so many generations. Yeah. And everyone knows the music. Everyone knows the songs that you sing. Is that mm -hmm. strange? Is that cool? Yeah, it, I can honestly say it's really, really cool. It, it still blows my mind that I was even blessed with an opportunity like that but then just to see how it's evolved over time and just grown and how many um how many people it's just like touched it's uh it's incredible yeah yeah it's incredible. and then you were able to expand your career from mm -hmm. singing to now acting and then including the singing with the acting because you played michael jackson yes, <laughs> yes, yes, that, i actually i did um the jackson's miniseries where i played michael jackson that was prior to me working on The Lion King. As a matter of fact, I was recruited to do The Lion King was based oh. on my involvement with the Jacksons miniseries. So, okay. yeah. And did I read somewhere that you met him? Um, yeah. And he came to set dressed up? Yeah, he came to set dressed up uh, as, a, as an older gentleman. Uh, this was like around the time that he was doing the Dangerous Tour. Okay. okay. So he was in and out of the country at that time, but he did stop by the set uh, briefly, just, you know, where we could meet and mm -hmm. establish a rapport. And where he could tell me himself what he thought of my performance, and for, at least from what he was able to see from the dailies uh, so far. And it was great. It was That's a great cool. What is that? He, he just told me that I did a great job or I was doing a great job. Okay. And just to continue to keep up the good work and stay focused and... That's what I did, and, and it turned out uh, turned out really well. People really enjoyed that miniseries. Yeah, oh, yeah. Absolutely. I was one of them. Oh, All right, awesome. so we're going we're gonna to graduate here, and now you're back on the screen again in the shy. Yes, ma'am. In the shy. That's right. <laughs> in how my does, how, uh, yeah, how does that feel? Uh, it's phenomenal. It, it feels like a full circle moment. Uh, shout out to Lena Waithe. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. To, to the creator of the show and my, my good friend and sister. No, I, um, when this opportunity was presented to me to be a part of the show, I just jumped at the chance, like jumped at the opportunity because I'm a proud Chicagoan born mm -hmm. and raised here. Um, to have the opportunity to tell these kinds of stories, you know, about experiences that do happen, like on the south side of Chicago, it kind of just shift the narrative, present a more truthful and honest narrative when yeah. it comes to the experience of growing up on the south side and like just here in Chicago in general. Mm -hmm. So I'm honored to be able to be a part of the cast to help tell that story. So now we've got the Bud Billiken Parade coming up. Oh, is, yeah. Is, is, it's got to be so fun for you to be able to be the Grand Marshal of Parade. You probably went too many times as a kid. Yeah, I did. I mean, you know, growing up as a South Sider, you know, the Bud Billiken Parade was a big deal, mm -hmm. you know, as a kid. And uh, we would we would attend every mm -hmm. year. So to have the honor of being the Grand Marshal, I mean, I, I truly am. This is a big moment for me. I mean, people that come from that, that particular community on the South Side, like, mm -hmm. 
you know, that's a major badge of honor. Mm -hmm. So I'm uh, I'm really looking forward to it. I hope everybody out there that you'll come and and, and hang out with us August 10th. Yep. Uh, we're going to have a great time. It's yeah. going to be a huge celebration. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. It's yeah. always a fun day. All right. So I hear you're splitting your time between Chicago and Atlanta. Yes. Are you working on something else other than The Shy right now? Uh, well, yeah. I'm actually, um, I'm developing an animated series right now um, based on a concept that, that's happening in Atlanta right now. I won't go into too much detail about it because I'm in the middle of actually negotiating okay. a deal about it. But um, no, I'm really shifting a lot of my attention and focus to like content creation, development, production. Okay. Um, creative. I think, yeah, creative. Yeah. And I think that's really important at this stage in my life and my career right now where I can hopefully open the doors and create more opportunities, yes. you know, for, for the next generation of talent that's coming yeah. behind me. So no, I'm uh, very excited about the future and, again, very excited to be here in Chicago, uh, to be a part of the show and to be celebrating the city and to be a part of it. So, yeah, that's so it's, cool. it's a blessing. Yeah, so we're so Thank happy you that so you're back. For Looking in. forward to seeing you next Saturday yep. out on the parade route. Yes. Right yes. down King Drive. Right down King yes, Drive in is... Chicago. Come on out. And again, because and, I never get the opportunity to do this. So, ladies, pardon me for taking this moment. Go ahead. Chicago, I just want to thank y'all. Thank you so much for supporting me throughout all the years. It's just like, it's a blessing to represent y'all, man. And I hope to just see everybody on August 10th where I can shake your hand and thank you personally. So, oh, so I look forward to that it. That is so awesome. Yeah, that is awesome. Thank you. Thank you. 